Hello friends and thank you for joining us. It's great to see you again. This is episode 25 of Microtech Canada's online MTCNA course. And with this episode, we'll be starting module 2 of the MTCNA program. In this tutorial, after a flash overview of module 1 subjects, we'll briefly go over the training sessions now on offer by Wireless Network, take a look at the contents of MTCNA module 2, and finally, just have a glance at DHCP menus in Winbox. By referring to the About tab of the training webpage on Microtech's website, you will see a diagram outlining the hierarchy of Microtech courses. As you can see, MTCNA is literally pivotal to the entire Microtech knowledge base and is the foundation of all other expert courses that you can take in the future. If you refer to the outline of the MTCNA program, you can see that it is a three-day course in which you will become familiar with router OS and router board products, learn how to connect a client to the internet, and run basic diagnostic and troubleshooting tools on a Microtech router. This is the course content for Module 1 of the MTCNA program. In line with this syllabus, we first brought you two introductory sessions that dealt with an overview of Microtech and their website, as well as a comprehensive introduction to the router OS software. Next, we started with Module 1 categorizing the contents of the course to maximize your focus on learning. Our first three tutorials of Module 1 taught you about the basics of Winbox and how to connect to your router. Sessions 4 and 5 provided you with a tour of SSH, Telnet, New Terminal and WebVic as other login methods to router OS. In sessions 6 to 9, we were busy setting up our home lab network and in sessions 10 to 15, we talked about a number of basic but very useful diagnostic and troubleshooting tools in router OS. In sessions 16 and 17, we talked about source NAT and NAT masquerade, and in session 18, we discussed router OS packages and how you can upgrade your router OS. Sessions 19 and 20 dealt with router identity and user credentials, and we spent sessions 21 to 23 talking about router OS IP services as well as the backup and import-export tools. And finally, in our previous session, that is episode 24, we introduced net install as the utility for router OS reinstallation and recovery. If you visit Microtech's list of scheduled trainings around the globe, you can see that this entire introductory content and the MTCNA program as a whole are being offered as paid courses. Our offer is that you follow our free online MTCNA tutorials to decrease expenses, save a great deal of travel and class time, and more importantly, have a chance of taking a free exam once the entire MTCNA program is finished. If you refer to our website at wirelessnetwork.ca, you can go to the MTCNA page and access all current and future tutorials as they roll out. Also, from here, you can review and register for our newly launched training courses that can be held in person or online. And now, let's go to Module 2 of the program. Module 2 is all about DHCP, that stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, a client-server protocol whose main job is to automatically assign IP addresses and other related configuration information to an IP host. By referring to Microtech's wiki and scrolling down to the IP section, you can see that we have three subjects for DHCP, namely DHCP Client, DHCP Relay, and DHCP Server. You can also find this information in the documentation reference on Microtech's website. Simply search for DHCP and you can see that in addition to DHCP Client, Server, and Relay, DHCP version 6 subjects, which relate to IPv6, are also included here. In the MTCNA program, we'll discuss the basics of DHCP Server and DHCP Client. DHCP Relay is a topic that will be discussed in MTC TCE, and DHCP version 6 will be dealt with in MTC IPv6E, two of Microtech's advanced engineering courses. Well, as previously mentioned, DHCP is used for the easy distribution of IP addresses throughout a network. The router OS implementation of DHCP includes both server and client parts and the router OS DHCP client may be enabled on any Ethernet-like interface. The DHCP client will accept a set of information, including address, netmask, 
default gateway, and two DNS server addresses, some of which are optional. In Winbox, you can access all three DHCP submenus under the IP menu. Also, in Router OS version 7, you have the IPv6 menu where you can find DHCP version 6 submenus. However, if you're using Router OS version 6, you won't find the IPv6 menu by default. You'll have to refer to the System menu and the Packages submenu. Select the IPv6 package, click on Enable, and then reboot your device in order to run the IPv6 package and subsequently access the IPv6 menu. Well, that's it for now. Stay tuned as we'll be diving into this subject in the next session. As always, post your comments and take care until next time.